Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the release preview channel, which is the build 22621.898. This build is a very interesting build for the release preview channel because in this build, Microsoft is updating the set of Moments 2 features that will be officially released sometime next year. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable those hidden Moment 2 features in this new Windows 11 Insider preview build for the release preview channel channel using only one command. You heard it right. You can use only one command to enable all the hidden features from the moment to update or Windows 11 in this build. Also, this build has a few improvements and a few fixes that we're going to talk about in this video. If you enjoy videos like these where we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by KeysFan.com. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal Windows Office and software licenses. They have a new sales event which is called Double Eleven. In this event, you will have great prices for a lot of products. For example, you can get the Windows 10 Pro license for just $7 and you can also upgrade for free to Windows 11. Alternatively, you can use the license on Windows 11 directly if you want to activate it. You also have Windows 11 and Office licenses if you're interested in those. Check out the great prices in this sales event in the links from the description below which have a discount pre-applied for the subscribers of my channel. Thank you to keysfan.com for the sponsorship. Let's continue with the video. Before talking about what is new in this build and so on, I just want to show you how you can enable the complete set of Moment 2 features in this update. This command was discovered by Phantomotion3 on Twitter, so go ahead and follow him. And basically, by running only one command, you will have the tablet optimized taskbar, the new system tray, the live file explorer search, and also energy recommendations, task manager improvements, search bar, theming, updated UI, and also a drop down menu for the touch keyboard and settings. But of course, for this, you're going to have to download Vibe tool the latest version of five tool you're going to have the download link in the article from the description below just go ahead and download the latest version zip after that open the archive that you've just downloaded click on extract all click on browse and make sure you extract it into the system 32 location in this pc local disk c windows and then scroll down to system 32 select it click on select folder and then click on extract i'm going to have to replace the files in the destination in this case but you can just click on continue a few times and vive tool should be set up on your computer with no issues now you're going to have to open up the search box, tap in here CMD, click on run as administrator, and on user account control, click on yes. In the CMD, you're going to have to copy and paste in this command from the article below in the video's description, press enter, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration, and then just restart your computer for the changes to take effect, and you'll have the new features. After the restart, you'll have the new features, I will show them to you very fast. If I go to taskbar settings, you're going to see that on taskbar behaviors, we have the tablet optimized taskbar with the new system tray and also the live file explorer search let's test this out if we search for something as you can see we have the live file explorer search and also in the settings app we have the new energy recommendations in power and then energy recommendations we have it here very nice of course in the task manager we have the task manager search and also with the new options regarding the theme and so on and also a small little change in taskbar settings we have the touch keyboard drop down never always or when no keyboard attached to show the touch keyboard icon really really simple. As you can see, it's really simple to enable the Moment 2 features, the complete set of features using only one command. If somehow any of the feature doesn't enable for you, just go ahead and search on my website or on my channel the commands to enable each and every one particularly, but one command should enable all of them for you. Now let's talk about what is new specifically in this build for the release preview channel. Microsoft is starting to give Microsoft OneDrive subscribers storage alerts on the systems page in the settings app. The alerts appear when you are close to your storage limit. You can also manage your storage and purchase additional storage if needed. And also they provided the full amount of storage capacity from all your OneDrive subscriptions. It also displays the total storage on the accounts page in the settings app. Microsoft also added the organizational message feature with it. Third party companies can now provide content to their employees. They do not need to use the default behavior of Windows. Microsoft also fixed some issue that affected some modern applications that stopped them from opening. They also fixed an issue that affected some 
devices that are managed by an enterprise, they improve the reliability of app installations for them. They also fix an issue that affected certain applications, they stopped working. This occurred when you used keyboard shortcuts to change the input mode for the Japanese input method editor. Also, they fix an issue that affected microphone streams that used the listen to feature to route to the speaker endpoint, Microsoft stopped working after you restarted the device. They fix an issue that affected Microsoft Defender when it is not the primary antivirus, Microsoft Defender failed to turn off passive mode, this issue occurred when you turned off smart app control. They also fix an issue that affected Microsoft Defender for endpoint, automated investigation blocked live response investigations. They also fix an issue that causes File Explorer to stop working, this occurred when you closed context menus and menu items. Also, they fix an issue that might have caused certain apps to stop responding when you opened the open file dialog. And also, they fix an issue that sometimes affected File Explorer when you opened a file, because of this there was a high CPU usage. So basically, this is all there is to it in this build. You have a few additional fixes and improvements that will be listed in the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.